At this point, we're going to continue talking about editing points, specifically touching on kinks and knots. To start with, let's create a curve. Fairly simple control point curve here. It's going to be a closed curve. Now quickly, let's touch on the difference between control points and edit points. Here's my control point display. And as you can see, when I move a control point, the curve pulls away from the two adjacent points. But for the most part, points outside those adjacent points are left untouched. In other words, the curve section here and here stays pretty much where it was. Okay. Let's right click to turn off our points. Select and turn on edit points. Now I'll grab the same point or a similar comparable point here. As you can see, of course, all my edit points are directly on my curve. Now watch what happens when I pull this. This time the curve reacts differently. As you can see, it jumps out in the opposite direction between these sets of points here. So let's undo that and turn off our edit points. Now, let's open our point editing tool window here. Remove knot, insert kink, or insert knot or edit point. So, well, inserting a knot is basically going to add another knot, another point on my curve that's going to let me deform the curve with a little bit more control. As you can see, these knots I can put anywhere. Then when I turn on my edit points, it looks a little busier. The edit points are spread out slightly differently from the placement of the knots. Let me show you what I mean. If I select my curve, right-click here, insert edit point, watch what happens to the other points. They move slightly. It's showing me in real time where my edit points are going to end up if I add more points. Now I select my curve, left click the edit point tool, and we have yet again more edit points. Well, what about a kink? Well, when I click my insert kink tool, then I select my curve, I can place the kink. Now a kink will actually place down several points to give you more control in a specific area of your curve to make sort of a crease in other words. So I'll click a few times. Now nothing happens until I right click to finish the tool. So I'll right click and I'm done. Now let me turn on my control points. As you can see we have quite a jumble of points here. But again, if I pull on one point, as you can see, it affects basically that one point and the two points just adjacent. If I turn on my edit points, however, it affects the points next to it in the inverse fashion. Now sometimes these points are so close together that a menu comes up. When that happens, you can left click whichever you want to select. So basically the kink tool gives you more control. Now watch what happens if I delete this point. Then my shape is back to a rounded shape. The kink tool is going to make sort of a crease and the knot tool is going to add more of a basic knot or editing type point for you to manipulate your curve with.